Hello everyone, I'm super excited today to be talking about the electric eel wheel fold. Uh, specifically, we have this one in the back is the first molded parts for the electric eel wheel fold. Now ignore the color and the surface finish isn't done. A lot of the fits have to be adjusted. Uh, some of the plastics have to be changed, but I'm really happy with how these first samples come out. They're always a uh, little rough and sometimes they have some big issues. No big issues on this one here. I'm pretty happy with everything and we just need to do some tweaks which is always normal for the molds. And then this one in front is a 3D printed one I had made because uh, the colors and the finish on this one just aren't very good and I wanted to have something nice for the Kickstarter video. So this is uh, sort of the pretty one at this stage, but eventually the molded one will be just as pretty. Let's just talk about a few features in depth because while I am working on the Kickstarter videos, those always have to be sort of polished and brief, but I like talking about certain features that I think are really important in more depth. So that's what I'm going to do here today. One thing, we'll go over to this guy because he's got some yarn on him, um, that I really enjoy is, so on the previous versions, there's lots of ways to sort of attach the yarn so it doesn't untwist uh, when you're spinning and when you set it aside, like wrapping it around the hook there. Some people like putting a little Velcro down there. You can actually slide it in a gap down on the bottom cover, but a new one I've added with the fold that I really enjoy is you can just sort of wrap it around this uh, orifice reducer and that holds your yarn really well and I'm super excited about how that works. I didn't, <laughs> I haven't done those before and uh, now that I've tried it I'm like why, why didn't I have those on my previous versions? This is a, a really nice way of holding your yarn so that it doesn't untwist when you set your spinning aside. Another thing I wanted to talk about in a little bit more depth is the whole hinging mechanism. Uh, I'm really happy with how this has turned out, especially now that I can see the molded version, but uh, the way the folding mechanism works is it just sort of goes back and if you let it go, it sort of clicks into place and it's very easy because I have sort of this angled thing on the back of the spindle to sort of line it up and just get it in place there. And I mean, so changing a bobbin is like legitimately this easy. You take off a bobbin, you put the new one on, and you're good to go just that quickly. Put the tensioner back on and everything's good to go. So how did I make that happen? The real crux of it are these magnets, and you'll see if in this close-up that there's actually screws holding them in place. We found that, especially on these maiden pieces, that glue just wasn't reliably holding the magnets in place. So I've actually got inserts in certain places and nuts in other places, but all of the magnets on this version are going to be held in place with these screws. That makes it easy to um, assemble. It also makes maintenance super easy if you ever crack a magnet. Now I haven't done anything like that, but you know, I just like that things can be taken apart after they're fully assembled and, and this version of the wheel should be able to do that. Another thing that was sort of critical with this back hinge is you'll see that this bearing actually swivels. It's a swivel bearing and that was pretty critical in order to be able to put this back maiden onto the spindle without having a fit that's really loose and causes problems. So the magnets combined with this swivel hinge on the back is sort of really critical to how it works. And then I was, I was thinking that that would be sort of all I do. So I'm just removing the front orifice reducer. It comes off like that. And then there's the front maiden. That also is designed to just slide off very easily like that. And the front maiden flies down and it has the same uh, strong magnets in place that the back maiden has. And you'll notice on the side 
There's two more magnets, and the reason for those is to hold the orifice hook in place. And I just use the side magnets because it makes uh, assembly easier. It's less parts for uh, me to worry about during assembly. Let's see, then we'll take off the bottom, which is held in place by eight more of these really strong magnets. And you'll see that on this version, I actually have a plastic sheet here, and that's going to be included. That's to just protect uh, some of the wiring and the circuit boards a little bit more. It's just gonna be held in. There's just two screws there right now, but on the assembled version, the final version, uh, we'll have all four screws put in, and that's just to offer a little extra protection, but again, just four screws, so it's very easy to take those off and get access to the circuit board or the motor or the switches. Again, I like things being easy to uh, disassemble in case any repairs are necessary. So, let's continue here. So, I designed the uh, Maidens, and this, this took a long time, a lot more than it should have, I think, but um, they sort of fold on top of each other and they're perfectly flat. So what that means is that if you're traveling or you wanna do any kind of, uh, sh uh, you know, during shipping, it's gonna come assembled like this and it's just like super compact and very durable. This bottom cover also holds a battery, so I'll have more about that. It's the same battery as was used on the electric EO wheel six will work. Um, I'll also talk about some other battery options, probably using USB-C uh, in a future video. Now the spindle here is like that, and the hooks will just slide off like this. And you'll notice on the spindle that there's these one, two, three, four O-rings. And what I found, and I wish I'd thought of this earlier, but this is a great way to hold the bobbin in place uh, or um, these bearings on the maidens. So sometimes to get the fit of this metal piece so that those bearings don't ever slip is really difficult. It's impossible really. Um, on the electric EO wheel six, sometimes the bearings will slip a little bit and it's not a big deal because this uh, spindle is steel, but then the bearings aren't working the way that they're designed to. And just by adding these little O-rings, it makes everything work a lot nicer. I just like how things really fit the way they're supposed to and it's just a better feel than on any of my other uh, e-spinners. Uh, it's one of those things like had I thought of it for the electric EO wheel six, you know, I probably would have done I would have done it there and Also, it's one of those things that in a future update for the electric EO wheel six I'll probably include it. I think the electric EO wheel sticks is still an awesome wheel But this is an area that you know, I just thought of something new that makes it better Going forward. That's kind of why I do new versions and release uh, updates all the time because I'm always coming up with ideas to, to make them better. Uh, so the sliding hooks, all four of those hooks that I have made actually have little places that they sort of clip in on the bottom platform. So there's places to store these hooks. And it's probably hard to see on this white version, but there's even little um, engravings into the plastic that show you sort of where the hooks go. So. Uh, it, it's just those little touches that really I'm proud of. Like it just is easy to use and everything is kind of obvious with this version of my e-spinners. It's just uh, well thought out. And then uh, again, this was one of those things that took a lot of uh, designing in CAD to get it to work, but everything is designed uh, so that it just fits really nice. And the spindle actually fits into the bottom case. Now, obviously if you have a battery in there, it won't fit at the same time as the battery, but if you're trying to break it down for travel, the battery is gonna be just a hard battery. You can take that out, put your flyer in here to protect it, and then the pieces just click together and it's all sort of one compact 
very durable unit. And that should cover all of the in-depth topics that I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching.